December 14, 2014 from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. It was the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots in this AFC East division rivalry matchup with the division title on the line. With the Patriots having a chance to clinch the AFC East. So they've been dominant over this division since the turn of the century. The Patriots won the toss. They elected to defer, and so the Dolphins would take over first. They would start off their first possession on their own 20-yard line. Ryan Tannehill hit Mike Wallace for a 50-yard reception on the first play from scrimmage. And that brought the ball across midfield into the New England 30 for the first down for the Dolphins. Then on third and six, Lamar Miller ran for three yards, and he would be three yards shy the first down so out would come Caleb Sturgis to attempt a 41 yard field goal and it was blocked by Collins and recovered by Arrington. Arrington scooped it up and Kyle Arrington ran it back 62 yards for the touchdown as the Patriots put the first points on the scoreboard on the Dolphins first possession and so after that the score was New England 7 Miami 0 so now the Dolphins would get the ball for their second possession in this game with 12 and a half minutes still left in the first and the ball on their own 20 and on third and two from the 28 Tannehill hit Williams for a five yard reception of the first down at the 33 but they would end up having to punt the ball though from the 38 after seven plays so now the Patriots would take over with less than eight and a half minutes left in the first and the ball on their own 20 Tom Brady then hit Julian Edelman for a 15-yard reception, and that moved Brady into fifth place in NFL history as the fifth leading um, in career completions with 4,500 career completions. And now it was a first down on the 35 for the Patriots. They're then faced with a third and one on the 44, and Julian Edelman ran it for six yards in the first down at the 50. <coughs> Then Tom Brady hit Edelman for a 12-yard reception and was now first down on the Miami 38. And on first down out of the no huddle, Tom Brady dropped back and he was intercepted by Truznik. So now after the interception, the Dolphins would take over on their own 34 with less than six minutes left in the first quarter. Then on first and 15 after a false start penalty from the 29, Ryan Tannehill hit Clay for a 22-yard reception, a first down that brought the ball to the New England 49. And on second and five from the 44, Lamar Miller ran for seven yards in the first down that brought the ball to the 37. And on second and three from the 25, Tannehill ran for 15 yards in the first down that brought the ball to the New England 10. But they weren't able to get another first down. And so out would come Caleb Sturgis to attempt a 24-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the Dolphins put their first points on the scoreboard with the score New England 7, Miami 3. So now the Patriots would take over with just under a minute left before the end of the first quarter. They had the ball on their own 20. And on third and eight from the 22, Tom Brady hit Shane Vereen for a 12-yard reception and a first down at the 34. Vereen then ran for a yard out of the shotgun, and that brought the first quarter to a close. So after one quarter of play, the score was New England 7, Miami 3. Now to open up the second quarter, the Patriots had the ball on their own 35. It was second and nine. Tom Brady hit LaFell for an eight-yard reception. It was now third and one. LeGarrette Blunt then punched forward for the first down with a two-yard run that brought the ball to the 45. A false start would move them backwards, and they would end up having to punt the ball from the 47 of Miami. And so after nine plays, the Patriots punt, and now the Dolphins took over with 12 minutes left before halftime and the ball on their own 10-yard line. They would then be faced with a second and eight from the 18, and Lamar Miller ran for 13 yards in the first down that brought the ball to the 31. And that was earlier on first down. There was a pass interference call that set that up. But so then on first down from the 31, Tannehill hit Clay for an 18-yard reception that brought the ball to midfield to the Miami 49. Then on third and 14 from the 45, Tannehill out of the shotgun, intercepted by Harmon. And so now the Patriots would take over on the Dolphins' 8-yard line after a 60-yard return on the interception. So right now it was first and goal on the eight for the Patriots with less than nine minutes left in the second quarter. LeGarrette Blunt runs for five yards. 
And then on second and goal from the three, an incomplete pass will bring up third and goal on the three, and they hand it to Shane Vereen, and Shane Vereen takes it to the end zone on the three-yard touchdown run. They extended the Patriots' lead to 11 with the score New England 14, Miami 3. So now the Dolphins would take over with less than eight minutes left before halftime and the ball on their own 27. Then on third and three from the 34, Ryan Tannehill hit Jarvis Landry for a five-yard reception of first down that brought the ball to the 39. And on first down, Tannehill went back to Landry. It was incomplete, but a pass interference call against the Patriots would make it a first down for the Dolphins in New England territory on the 36. A six-yard run by Miller, but then he got dropped for a five-yard loss, and now it was third and nine, and an incomplete pass will bring out Caleb Sturgis to attempt a 53-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the Dolphins cut the Patriots' lead to eight with the score in New England 14, Miami 6. So now the Dolphins would take over with about four minutes and 20 seconds left before halftime, and the ball on their own 17. Then on third and eight from the 19, Brady hit LaFell for a 12-yard reception and a first down at the 31. But they wouldn't pick up another first down, and out would come the punting unit to punt it on fourth and 11 from the 30. So now Miami would take over with just over two minutes left in the first half. And an eight-yard run by Miller on first down would bring us to the two-minute warning. And then an incomplete pass would make a third and two from the 20. And Tannehill hit Thomas for a 10-yard reception that made a first down on the 30. Tannehill then went to Matthews for an 11-yard reception. It was first down on the 41. Tannehill then went to Landry for a 13-yard reception. And that was first down in New England territory for the Dolphins on the 46. But that's where their drive stalled after three incomplete passes. And out came the punting unit to punt the ball back to the Patriots. As the Patriots would take over with less than a minute left before halftime and the ball on their own 15. And they would run the ball three straight times. And then out would come the punting unit as they just were trying to kind of run out the clock to halftime. But they punted the ball from their own 17. And so now... Miami would get the ball on the New England 32 with only 11 seconds left before halftime. And they decide, let's just air it out. And Ryan Tannehill airs it out to Mike Wallace and for a 32-yard touchdown. But wait, it's called incomplete. But then they went to ch they looked at it. Any uh, score under two minutes is reviewed by the booth. And the review is that it was a catch and it was a touchdown. So the 32-yard touchdown reception by Mike Wallace right there in the corner of the end zone would make it a one-point game with the score New England 14, Miami 13. And the Patriots would get the ball back after the kickoff. Brady took a knee and this game, went to halftime. So the score at halftime, New England 14, Miami 13. The Patriots start off the ball first in the second half. They started with it on their own 21. And on first down, Tom Brady hit Rob Gronkowski for a 34-yard reception. And so now Gronkowski, with that reception, went over 1,000 yards for the second time in his career. And now first down on Miami 45 for the Patriots. Then on second and three from the 38, Jonas Gray runs for five yards, his first carry of the game, and the first Jonas Gray sighting since back when he ran for 200 yards against the Colts. But then it was first down on the 33, Tom Brady hits LaFell for a 14-yard reception to make it a first down in the red zone on the Miami 19. Then on third and 11 from the 20, Tom Brady ends up running for 17 yards, looking like he was 10 years younger. He almost got it in the end zone, but he ended up getting stopped by Aikens just shy. And so now it was first and goal on the three. Like Garrett Blunt punches it in for the three-yard touchdown run, and the Patriots are now up by eight as they extended their lead. And now the score was New England 21, Miami 13. The Dolphins then took over with 11 minutes left in the third, and they would go three and out, and they would punt the ball from their own 29. So now the Patriots would take over on their own 36 with less than nine minutes left in the third. They were then faced with a second and 10 from the 36, and a penalty against the Dolphins would make it a first down on the 41. Jonas Gray then ran for 14 yards to make it a first down on the 45. Then on second and five from the 40, it ended up being a fumble by Edelman. Brady threw it to Edelman. He fumbled the ball, but then it ended up they ruled it that it was Patriots' ball. So they end up saying that uh, 
it wasn't a fumble that it was actually so the Patriots still had the ball they ended up with it now on the 35 Edelman picked up nine yards and then Brady picked up two yards on second and one and it was first down on the 24 and so then three uh, two incomplete passes and then Brady went to LaFell on third and ten but he only picked up seven and out would come the field goal unit as Goskowski would come out to attempt the 35 yard field goal it was up it was good the Patriots were now up by 11 with the score New England 24 Miami 20 or Miami 13 so now the Dolphins would take over on their own 20 and so on first down, out of the shotgun, Tannehill drops back, and he's intercepted by Patrick Chung. As Chung gets the interception, gets the ball back for the Patriots, and it's now first down on the 27 for the Patriots with four and a half minutes still on the clock in the third. And on first down, Tom Brady drops back to pass in through double coverage. He hits Rob Gronkowski for the 27-yard touchdown with a perfect pass. Just placed beautifully right there in between the double coverage. And it was now New England 31, Miami 13. So now the Dolphins would take over with still four and a half minutes left in the third. They had it on their own 20. They would go three and out and punt from the 26. As the Patriots now get the ball back in Miami territory at the 47 with less than three minutes left in the third. Then on second and four from the 41, Tom Brady hit Rob Gronkowski for a 35-yard reception that made it first and goal on the six. And Tom Brady then dropped back and hit Julian Edelman for the six-yard touchdown pass. And the score was now New England 38, Miami 13 as the Patriots were now running away with this game. It was a one-point game coming out of the locker rooms at halftime. But right now, it was a 25-point lead for the Patriots with still a minute and a half left in the third. So now the Dolphins would start their next possession on their own 20. Then on second and two from the 28, there ended up being a fumble. It was Tannehill to Landry for a 27-yard reception. He got blown up by Hightower and Ninkovich. He fumbled the ball, but he ended up recovering the fumble. And so now it was a first down for the Dolphins on the New England 47. And Miller got dropped for a four-yard loss as the third quarter came to a close. With the score, New England 38, Miami 13 after three quarters of play. And to open up the fourth quarter, the Dolphins were faced with a second of 14 from their own 49. And they ended up... Ryan Tannehill was sacked for a two-yard loss by Saliga. And so now it was third and 16 from the Miami 47. Tannehill then went to Miller. He picked up 10 yards and was now fourth and six from the 43. Trailing by 25, they elected to go for it with just 13 and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. And on fourth and six, Tannehill hit Gibson for a 12-yard 12 12-yard reception and a first down of the 31. They were then faced with another fourth down. It was fourth and one on the 22. This time Tannehill goes to Matthews for a five-yard reception in the first down at the 20, at the 17. So now the Dolphins were in the red zone on the 17-yard line of New England, and Tannehill gets sacked by Jones. As Chandler Jones drops him for an eight-yard loss, and then he ended up forcing the fumble, and it was recovered by Miami. And so it was second and 26 after the fumble on the 33-yard line. And they would end up having to be faced with a fourth and 18 on the 25. They elected to go for it. They picked up 10 yards, but that wasn't enough for the first down. And so they turned the ball over on downs. And the Patriots would now take over with just under 11 minutes left in the fourth and the ball on their own 15. Tom Brady then hit LaFell for a 19-yard reception and a first down at the 34. Then on third and five from the 39, Tom Brady hit Julian Edelman for a 31-yard reception that brought the ball across midfield into the Miami 30. Then on third and two from the 22, Jonas Gray ran for two yards and picked up the first down at the 20. But they weren't able to pick up another first down as their drive stalled in the red zone at the 18. And out would come Steven Goskowski to attempt the 36-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the score was now New England 41, Miami 13. So now the Dolphins would take over with less than six and a half minutes left in this game. They picked up some first downs. They moved into New England territory. They even got all the way to the red zone. It was actually all the way to the seven-yard line. It was first and goal on the seven, but then Tannehill fumbled the ball, and they ended up 
recovering though, and it was now second and goal on the nine. Tannehill was then sacked for a nine yard loss by Ninkovic. That was his eighth sack of the season. And it was actually the first time since Tippett that a Patriot has had eight plus sacks in three straight seasons. So Ninkovic comes up big and on fourth and 23, fourth and goal from the 23 after a false start. So now it was Tannehill out of the shotgun. He dropped back and he was sacked again, this time by Hightower and Chandler Jones for an 11-yard loss as the Dolphins turned the ball over on downs as the Patriots' dominance continued. And at this point, Garoppolo was in the game. He brought the game to the two-minute warning with a handoff to Jonas Gray. And then they continued to give it to Jonas Gray. He picked up another nine yards and was now first down at the 47 for the Patriots. Jonas Gray then ran for 13 yards. Of course, there was a holding penalty. But they just kept giving the rock to Jonas Gray. And the clock wound down. And this game came to a close. And Bill Belichick, with the victory, actually ties for the fourth all-time in NFL history on the win list. And the final score in this game, Patriots 41, Dolphins 13. And with the victory, the Patriots clinch the AFC East as they're now 11-3, 7-0 at Foxborough on the season. The Dolphins drop to 7-7. They're 4-4 on the road as they finish the season 500 away from Miami Gardens. And in this game, Tom Brady was 21 for 35 with 287 pass yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. He had 18 yards rushing off of three carries. Ryan Tannehill was 29 for 47, 346 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. He had three carries for 21 yards. The game's leading rusher was Jonas Gray. He had 11 carries for 62 yards. Lamar Miller was the leading rusher for the Dolphins. He had 16 carries for 47 yards, along with one reception for 10 yards. Jonas Gray also had a reception for 7 yards, by the way. The game's leading receiver was Mike Wallace. He had 104 yards off of 5 receptions and a touchdown. Rob Gronkowski was the leading receiver for the Patriots. The tight end had 3 receptions for 96 yards and a touchdown. Julian Edelman had 7 receptions for 88 yards and a touchdown. LaFell had 66 yards off of 6 receptions. And on defense, the game's leading tackler was a three-way tie between two Dolphins and one Patriot. Patrick Chung of the Patriots had 10 tackles, as well as Kelvin Shepard and Jason Trusnick of the Dolphins each had 10 tackles as well. The Patriots combined for four sacks in this game. Chandler Jones had one and a half sacks. Saliga and Ninkovich each had one sack, and Hightower had a half sack. And the Dolphins had no sacks as they did not hit Brady. Well, they didn't sack him at all. They did hit him a couple times. His Odrick hit him like three times, but he did not get sacked as they protect him pretty well. And the Dolphins had one interception. That was Truznik who had that one interception. The Patriots had two interceptions. Harmon had one, and Chung had the other. As the Patriots were up by one point at halftime, but they dominate the second half as they went off in the second half as they scored. 27 unanswered points in the second half, including 24 unanswered in the third quarter. And so the Patriots win this one, running away with it in the second half as they finish strong to clinch the AFC East. So a big win for the Patriots. So they come up huge. And it's actually their sixth straight AFC East division championship in a row. And the final score, New England 41, Miami 13.